So with an inventor, we can create extrusions, and extrusions basically take your um, sketched profile and basically extrude it normally to or normal to that plane to create that feature. Now there's times where what we want to do is actually create an extrusion, but what we want to do is actually follow the contour of the shape. And that's what the emboss feature does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch here, and I'm actually just going to draw a rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle like that. And if I was to just do a regular extrusion here, I would end up with a flat bottom that's actually going to um, cut nothing out in this space. So what I'm going to do is I want to create kind of an elevated spot so I can place a decal on top of it. So I'm going to go to my sweep drop down here, I'm going to pick emboss, and what I want to do is I want to create an emboss using the shape of one millimeter. And I'm just going to override the color here just so we can see it a little better. Let's just make it um, beige. And I'm going to click OK. And what I can see is that it took that and notice how it's wrapping that particular shape onto that. So again, it'd be like taking that piece of string and dropping it, and wherever it hits, that's where it goes normal to. So it's going to have these multiple normal places where it's adding. Okay, well that's okay, but really what I've changed my mind here, and what I really wanted is I wanted this to cut instead. We'll click OK. And what I can see now, let's just make it a little bit thicker, make it like three millimeters, is it's actually cut that in there. So we can see it's actually made that recessed area. So it's actually following the shape as it creates that cut. Well, let's flip over to this round part I've created here, and let's create a, a plane that's um, normal here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch. On the sketch, I'm going to add a piece of text. So I'm going to add a piece of text here. Let's just say, hello. And let's move this text into an area there. Now again, I could extrude this, but what I want is I want the text to actually kind of wrap itself around there. So I'm going to use the emboss feature, take this, and this is where I want to do that cut again. So I'm going to cut this one millimeter into the part. I'm going to click OK. Oops, I need to make sure it's going the right direction. Click OK, and let's just turn that work plane off here. And this is where the engraving part comes. Notice I was able to engrave those letters. And it could be really any shape. I was able to engrave those letters into that shape there. 